Hello everybody, welcome to the official replay cast of the Group M third round match between Jonesy and his Dark Elves and Mr. Page and his Black Orcs. We've got a great, a pretty great, it's cru crucial game here. Um, Mr. Page could qualify, well not even qualify, win the group if he wins. A draw will not be good enough for him. A draw will be good enough for Jonesy. If he draws 0-0, he'll qualify in second. If he draws 1-1, one, one, he'll win, or, or better, he'll win the group. And, of course, if he wins, he'll win the group as well. So, either of these guys could win the group um, or be eliminated. Um, an absolutely crucial third round match. And, yeah, we've got Jonesy. He's got only three dodge players. A wrestle witch, a rookie witch, a tackle blitzer, which could be come in handy for killing goblins. And a leader th runner, um, three rerolls and an apple, so like two rostered, right? And then Mr. Page has got six mighty blow. <laughs> then he's got block on the troll who already has mighty blow, so seven mighty blow total, and then a sneaky git in addition to that. So absolutely hilarious team build from Mr. Page, who I can tell you is from Canada and qualified through the season four official playoffs. Jonesy, as you could guess by his team name, is German and qualified through the DBBL, which is, of course, the German League. So, uh, well, I mean, the biggest German League, I imagine. And right, let's see what happens. There's real, real chances here for both people. I mean, obviously a lot easier for Jonesy. He's got Dark Elves and he's fighting against six mighty blow Blackhawks. But um, <laughs> it is possible... It is possible that Mr. Page just kills everything. And uh, if he does, he's got a chance. And he can win the group. Setting up the big foul here. Still setting up the big foul. It's the power. He got the touchback as well, didn't he? Oh, dear me. Full power on the Blodger. Mighty Blow doing nothing but getting a KO. I like the little tuck in there. Gets a removal. But it, the double was on the uh, injury. And he fails the argue a call and is instantly sent off. Diced. Instant full dicing. Ah, tackling the black orc. <laughs> just a joke. Oh, that makes sense, right? You can't hit him. I mean, I'd be tempted, honestly, to just run around and hit this guy, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's pretty tempting to just run around and smash this guy and run around and base this one and then, like, you know, just cause some problems. If I'm playing, if I ever play black orcs, I try to beat them 8 nil. Which obviously very rarely happens, but like they're so easy to beat that I just laugh at them and just try and score as many as I can. Now, of course, with this being um, resurrection, there's no advantage for trying to win 8 0. You know, you can't get loads of star player points killing goblins and stuff, so you are incentivized to play a little bit more sensibly here as the dark elves. But I mean, it's still effective to just go after the goblins, you know, base, base the goblins, they can't move, right? Agility 3 plus. Um, with even with dodge, it fails a fair amount of the time. So, if you can base the goblins and hit the goblins, that's pretty decent. Really, really don't leave anybody based by black orcs. <laughs> so. Probably should have done the dodge first right before he based him with him. Yeah, I mean, definitely should have done the dodge first. But this is good, right? Just keep him in front of you. And, uh, maybe he didn't need to do these dodges. Because you're not going to re-roll them, so... And you can't get the other guy out. The fact that you can't get the other guy out, right? If the other guy was a 2 plus out, and this guy was a 2 plus out, dodging both out. But when one's a 3-2 and the other's like a... 
four three two. You're definitely leaving him down. So you're definitely getting somebody fouled. If he wants to gang foul, he can gang foul. So just leave them both down. And then Gets to mighty blow the tackler here, doesn't he? Which is pretty good. Uh, apart from doing nothing to him. Apart from doing absolutely nothing to him, it was pretty good. Hmm. Oh yes, Mr. Page has left this chain on. Okay, I, I can't get on board with that. Some might say that was very bad. You have this... Oh, wait, how far is it for this guy? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah, uh, so it's seven for him. Well, I still think it's better just to make a one in nine, right? Just blitz with the leader. And you've, you've already got these guys able to uh, activate, right? So he goes nine, you just blitz with a leader. And then it's a one in nine instead of a one in six. It's the push. Doesn't re-roll it because he's kind of wasted the re-roll. Maybe he could have re-rolled. Maybe he could have re-rolled the 2D on the ball, though. But this is a bit dangerous now. This is now a bit dangerous. This is a few hits. All of them with Mighty Blow. <laughs> Gets the H cage. Yep, yeah, Brawler. Good bit of Brawler. Oh, didn't follow? Should have definitely followed there, if you ask me. But... Mm. Making some, making some removals, isn't he? Some removals. Only two. And some stuns. <laughs> I'll try socks. Uh, the compu box numbers say 300 punches landed for Mr. Page, 200 punches landed for Jonesy, which means Jonesy wins. Isn't that right, Steve? <laughs> Oh, Blitzing the Witch. I wouldn't have done that. I would Blitz the Blodger, right, and put stuff on the sideline. Get yourself a bit further forward. Well, gets the power here. Glorious. Mighty no, Blows having no effect, in. by the way, <laughs> on any of the removals. And I will defend. I will defend. <laughs> on literally zero of the removals has Mighty Blow had any impact. But thank you very much, Randy Tanner. Absolutely glorious. Thank you very much. And oh wow, he just he just snaked. He just snaked, did Jonesy. And then <laughs> Mr. Page, one in nine, has to use the team reroll. Obviously not going to risk a brawler there. Gets a full pow. Powers the witch backwards. I mean, you've got to hit this lead, haven't you? That's a, that's a great blitz to have now. the full pal. Oh man, he goes for the foul. That's very aggro with only 12 players. But, you know, it's probably correct, right? He's got to get lucky to win. He recognises that. 
and attempt it. Yeah. And level one removed. <laughs> it's hilarious that I don't think Mighty Blow is triggered once on a removal. They might have done like to get a stuff. But I don't think it's triggered once on a removal, which is pretty funny. Oh, vomits! Nice. Safety. Safety blitz. Yeah, the elves are rolling some ones, it's true. Mr. Fear is leaving a very easy ball sack on here, if that, like, double wand, but it didn't. There's literally a 3-3-2 with dodge for a 2D. And with two team rerolls. I wonder if he regrets not rerolling the two dice on the ball. He's got two rerolls, but like, there's not much of a one turn chance for the uh, Dark Elves. And uh, Mr. Page appled that KO, which uh, is a bit spicy. Because, you know, he's uh, he would have been back half the time anyway. You can be mine. Glorious, thank you very much, BB Nut. Welcome, <laughs> viewers of BB Nut. <laughs> no. <laughs> not, not, not personally a fan of view, <laughs> viewing nuts myself, but uh, if you like looking at nuts, then uh, who can I, uh, who am I to judge? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Elliot Googled how to eat nuts. <laughs> Wait, these KOs? He's still got four KOs. What were the KO rolls? One out of five. Oh my god. <laughs> I am here. One out of five KOs is pretty brutal. So it's funny because, I, as I said, I don't think Mr. Page's Mighty Blow has triggered on any removal. Yet, he's made loads. And now he gets two out of four. So, um, you know, only slightly below average, right? Average would have been like two or three out of five, and then one or two out of two or three. So it's quite reasonable he's still got two missing, but uh, nine players is pretty dodgy. Like, he pretty much has to... Well, he doesn't have to start until turn. The thing about stalling out till turn 8 is, right? So, how it is for now, the situation now is... Mr. Page can hang on to the 1-0 win. He, he wins and tops the group. If Jonesy equalises, he tops the group. Unless Mr. Page gets the one the one turn touchdown. Also, Jonesy could just score early and hope to, like, turn him over or whatever, or, like, defend a shorter drive. That's not so bad. I wouldn't even hate scoring early, right? Because the one turn, you can't really play against the one turn very much. So, whereas, like, if you gave Mr. Page, like, five or six turns to score, there's a decent chance you, like, turn him over and score, or he scores early and then you get the score back or whatever. So, um, but it looks like he's going to dacker. Do enjoy a dacker. So Mr. Page could just hold like the midfield here, right? Or, like just inside the half of one. He doesn't have to chase the dacker here. Uh, okay, I thought it was going to be a dacker. We've got a dacker where you get somebody punched every turn. Mr. Page is still chasing it. Not what I would have done. I guess he hasn't got many players, right? Uh, nine players. So maybe he wants to try and do everything all at once, but this is a bit spicy. This is a nice chain here, isn't it? It's 
the follow up hit. Good position for the goblin, isn't it? Stops these guys getting out on a two. Yeah, he could have just thrown the goblin, yeah. Works for some people. Honestly, he probably should have had both goblins directly behind. So he could throw one and then pick up and score with the other, right? But yeah, the problem is he does make that three plus dodge and then two Ds him. And smashes him. So we've got scoring threats now for the Delves. I mean, this is asking a lot of a defense, isn't it? Particularly a movement four defense. So I guess this is the idea of Jonesy using these three players to lead Mr. Page in a wild goose case. A wild, well, what? A wild goose chase. I really have got no idea what I said there. Turned into Jonathan Ross for a second. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's working because Mr. Page is following him around. Yeah. Yeah, he should have just ignored the scoring threats or ignored the line. I think. He should have, he should have tried to do one thing, right? And by trying to do both things, he basically does neither thing. That is the problem. <laughs> Absolutely fine here. Yeah. Well, he hasn't gone for anything yet. I think I would have made the move up the side last turn, honestly. Or taken this guy away, right? Seeing as Mr. Page is following this guy, put this guy here so that he'll divert resources here and then give you an easier turn down the flank. Yep. No on a draw, Salakis. Um, it is Jonesy that goes through. Jonesy tops the group if, in fact, on a 1-1 one -one draw, uh, Jonesy will top the group. But he got trolled, didn't he? Yeah, here we go. A crucial one in six. I mean, he's got he's got a re-roll for it, but a very crucial, another crucial one in six. And now Jonesy has to go on turn twelve. Oh, definitely, like this. another crucial dodgeless dodge. Another crucial dodgeless dodge. Four crucial two plus rolls. None with an inbuilt reroll. Like he's he's obviously got three rerolls of his own, but uh, three crucial rolls, all of them passed. That's how you play elves. What you don't want to do is uh, play like Jimmy Fantastic and make two crucial one in thirty sixes all game and fail them both. What you want to do is uh, make four in one turn and pass them all. Very. Good, that's exactly what you should do. The secret, the secret to L's is simply rolling twos. Right, Salakas, so like that was a foolish of me. Foolish of me not doing that in that one game. It looks like we're gonna troll rush blitz here, right? Troll rush blitz and he fails. He rolls a one. He puts in a reroll. Probably shouldn't have done that. Uh, right, so he, Mr. Page wastes two rerolls there that turn. Not what I would have done. Um, at this stage, you know you can't stop Dark Elf, right? You can look at the board and you can think, unless he won in 36s, if this is a 1 1 draw. So, save all four rerolls for the one turn is is what I'd be doing here. Of course, I also wouldn't have chosen this team. But if I had chosen <laughs> this team and another two plus, if if I had chosen this team of, of 
Black Orcs, which I wouldn't have. I would have recognized the fact that the troll doesn't really change anything, right? It just adds a 2 plus to the ball carrier dodge, like a 2 plus with dodge. It's not even doing anything. So, if it had been like a mega, mega move, you know, that like jammed the carrier to the sideline or whatever, or blitz on the ball, stuff like that, fair enough. But it was just, it was just gonna, you know, do a hit. Nothing special. I guess he can get goblins out in front here. And black orcs in the side. And back. This this isn't too bad. Okay, so I'll take it back a little bit. He can have a good turn here. He needs to rush here. No. I think you need these guys in contact, right? You need he needed to rush this guy in. And then you need to one, two, three, four, double rush this guy. Yeah, you need, you need to triple rush this turn. He needed this one there, and this one here. Kaz. Casual. One D. Oh my god, a blockless one D. Gets the three plus. And that gives him two with a ball carrier. And another two. Oof. Just quietly, just quietly, let's let's do an action replay. What if this guy had been in the square that Jim said? Oh, oh, it's suddenly a 3-2. Well, it wouldn't have been an extra two, he'd have gone up, wouldn't he? He'd have just gone up like that. But this guy, he would have stopped the square of movement from the witch and this guy would have had to come all the way around and this would have really really uh imp he would have gone like one two three four five six so it would it would have uh it would have helped tamping region fooming so can you get a hit on the ball one two three four not really oh throw the goblin yes yes mr page Oh, diced, cast himself. Um, you can get a 2D on the ball, right? One, two, three, four, rush, rush. And then rush in here, and then dodge 2D. Heroic player by Mr. Page. Playing pretty well, the problem is, um, you know, Black Oaks aren't very good. Another reroll comes in, gets the POW. It's just not. Oh, the worst possible scatter. Literal worst possible. I mean, apart from him catching it, that's the worst possible scatter. Instant 2 plus. And a 2 plus for the witch, 2 plus for him. Probably should have, well, not probably, definitely should have dodged the witch first, right? Because then... Wait, no, he was down. It doesn't matter. Errata, errata, it doesn't matter which one he does first. And... The troll can try another throw. One, two, three, four, rush, rush. He could have du double rush throw. But, um, I guess Pedro's is going to go for a 1D on the ball. And Jonesy gets the tutty. So, unless Mr. Page gets this one turn, uh, Jonesy wins the group. And Mr. Page is eliminated. Solid defense. He needs a good oh god, he needs a good scatter. Okay. Did he get it? One, two, three, four, five, six, rush, rush. 
So this is one, two, three, four. These are too far back. These should be one square forward. This back line should be one square forward. Um, but yeah, putting this guy in was fair. Let's get three dice out of the way. So. Definitely shouldn't block here, yeah. Here we go. Reroll gone. He should still have three. <laughs> Makes the hand off. Moves forward. Oh, and fails the five plus landing. Diced. Well, yeah, honestly, I think... I think Mr. Page should have just held all of his rerolls for the one turn, because... It just looked so bad, didn't it? When he when he used those two on the troll, I think if he just if he just left it, you know, he could have had a reroll on that five plus to land. Maybe he makes the land and scores, right? But um, yeah, you know, great effort by Mr. Page. He did fight till the bitter end, but uh, we can have a look at the table as it ends. And with that draw, Jonesy wins the group on. Plus one touchdown difference versus Diamond. Um, and Diamond finishes second, one of the hot favourites for the tournament, if you ask me. Um, so there you go, he's in the very dangerous play to have in the runner up position. And congratulations, Joni, Jonesy. Commiserations, Mr. Page. Uh, a great, hilarious team build. Really unlucky group for him. When you think about it, that was, you know, two Dark Elves and Diamed, and he came out of it with a winner draw and a loss. That was a pretty good performance, and uh, yeah, you know, wasn't 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 a bad build in the end, right? Is high I mean, it is a bad build, very high variance, but uh, you know, he could have taken six guards and it would have been a lot better. But it was funny, and uh, thank you for that, Mr. Page, and thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.